Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our lesson on the time value of money, an essential financial concept that helps explain why money today is worth more than money in the future. Before we begin today, let me briefly outline what we'll cover. We'll discuss the time value of money, the mechanics of compound interest, how to calculate future and present value, and how annuities work. We'll also review several practical examples to ensure you understand these concepts fully. Let's get started with the time value of money. What is the time value of money, TVM? The time value of money, also known as present discounted value, is a core principle in finance. This principle tells us that a sum of money today is worth more than the same amount in the future because of its earning potential. But what does that mean exactly? Let's break it down. Earning potential and opportunity cost When we say money has earning potential, we mean that money you have today can be invested to generate returns. For example, if you invest that money, it can earn interest or grow through capital gains. However, if you don't have that money today, you lose the opportunity to invest it and earn those returns. This is what we call opportunity cost. To illustrate this further, consider this scenario. Suppose someone hides $5,000 under their mattress for three years. By the time they retrieve it, they would have lost any potential interest that money could have earned if it had been invested. And on top of that, inflation will have reduced its buying power over those three years. This is why investors often insist on getting paid sooner rather than later. The sooner they get their money, the sooner they can reinvest it to earn returns. Example of time value of money Here's a simple question. Would you prefer to receive $5,000 today or $5,000 two years from now? On the surface, both options might seem the same because the amount is identical. But when we factor in time value, the answer becomes clear. The $5,000 today is more valuable because you can invest it immediately and start earning interest. The $5,000 two years from now has already lost two years of earning potential. Compound interest Next, let's discuss compound interest, a powerful financial concept. Compound interest means that you earn interest on both your initial principal and the interest already earned. Here's a simple example. Suppose you deposit $1,000 into a savings account that pays 1% interest annually. 1. After one year, you'll earn $10 in interest, giving you a total of $1,010. In year 2, you earn 1% on the new balance of $1,010, which gives you $10.10 in interest. That small increase might not seem like much, but over time, compound interest builds up significantly. This is because your balance keeps growing, and you continue to earn interest on the larger amount each year. Let's try a more detailed calculation to understand how this works over multiple years. Compound interest example Imagine you invest $100 at a 6% annual interest rate for 3 years. Let's calculate the balance at the end of each year. 1. Year 1. Interest is $100 times 6% equals $6, so your balance becomes $106. 2. Year 2. Interest is $106 times 6% equals $6.36, bringing your balance to $112.36. 3. Year 3. 
interest is $112.36 times 6% equals $6.74, resulting in a final balance of $119.10. Over three years, you've earned $19.10 in interest. This shows how compound interest helps your money grow faster over time. Future value you Now, let's talk about future value, FV. The future value tells us how much an investment made today will be worth at a future date, assuming a specific growth rate. The formula for future value is FV equals PV times 1 plus R N text FV equals text PV times 1 plus R carrot NFV equals PV times 1 plus R N where one PV is the present value or initial investment. Two R is the interest rate. 3. N is the number of years. Future value example. Let's say you invest $100 for two years at an interest rate of 6%. Using the formula, we get FV equals 100 times 1 plus 0 0.06, 2, text, FV equals 100 times 1 plus 0 0.06, carrot 2, FV equals 100 times 1 plus 0 0.06, 2, FV equals 100 times 1.06 times 1.06 equals 112.36, text, FV equals 100 times 1.06, times 1.06 equals 112.36 FV equals 100 times 1.06 times 1.06 equals 112.36 in this example the future value is $112.36 after two years if you change the interest rate or extend the time to 10 years the future value will increase significantly present value Now, let's move on to present value, PV. Present value helps us determine how much a future sum of money is worth today, based on a given rate of return. The formula for present value is PV equals FV 1 plus I N text PV equals frac text FV 1 plus I carrot n pv equals 1 plus i nfv where one fv is the future value two i is the interest rate three n is the number of periods Present value example Suppose you want to find the present value of $100 to be received 10 years from now, with an opportunity cost of 9%. Using the formula, we get PV equals 100, 1 plus 0 0.09, 10, text, PV equals, frac, 100, 1 plus 0 0.09, carrot, 10, PV equals, 1 plus 0 0.09, 10,100 PV equals 1,002.36736 equals 42.24, text, PV equals, frac, 102.36736 equals 42.24 PV equals 2.36736100 equals 42.24 This means that $100 in 10 years is only worth $42.24 today.
annuity is finally let's talk about annuities An annuity is a series of equal payments made at regular intervals, such as monthly or annually. Annuities are often used for retirement income. There are different types of annuities, including 1. Fixed annuities, which offer guaranteed payments. 2. Variable annuities, where payments depend on investment performance. 3. Indexed annuities, which are tied to a market index. Annuity example Let's calculate the future value of a 5-year annuity where $500 is deposited annually at 6% interest. The formula is FV equals 500 times 1 plus 0 0.06, 5 minus 10.06, text, FV equals 500 times, frac, 1 plus 0 0.06, carat 5 1, 0 0.06, FV equals 500 times 0 0.06, 1 plus 0 0.06, 5 minus 1 FV equals 500 times 5.637 equals 2818.50 text FV equals 500 times 5.637 equals 2818.50 FV equals 500 times 5.637 equals 2818.50 This means the annuity will be worth $2818.50 after 5 years. Summary To summarize, the time value of money explains why money today is more valuable than money in the future. We explored compound interest, future value, present value, and annuities. Understanding these concepts is crucial for making sound financial decisions. Thank you for watching. In our next video, we'll discuss investment strategies and how to apply these concepts in real-world scenarios. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.